Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about the so-called insanity defense in Singapore. Section 84 of the Penal Code of Singapore states that nothing is an offense which is done by a person who at the time of doing it, by reason of unsoundness of mind, is incapable of knowing the nature of the act, number one. Number two, incapable of knowing what he is doing is right or wrong whether wrong by the ordinary standards of reasonable and ordinary persons or wrong as contrary to law. Or three, completely deprived of any power to control his actions. The effect of this provision in murder cases is that murder would be reduced to culpable homicide not amounting to murder. For other non-murder cases, the court can find the accused person unfit to plead, make a plea of guilty or not guilty because they are of unsound mind. Their plea will not be taken and the court will order the person to be examined by a medical practitioner or psychiatrist or remanded for observation at a psychiatric hospital for up to a month. If the medical practitioner or psychiatrist certifies that the accused person is incapable of making his defense, the court may release him on the condition that he uh, receives uh, proper medical care. In other cases, accused persons could be given non-jail sentences that focuses on rehabilitation. Singapore's Community Court was set up in 2006, which adopted the problem-solving approach emphasizing rehabilitation, including offenders with mental disorders. The Community Court has the power to impose mandatory treatment orders for up to three years. Under this regime, offenders must undergo psychiatric treatment as an, as an alternative to imprisonment. The alternative is for the matter to be referred to the Ministry of Law who may order the person to be confined in a psychiatric institution or any place for safe custody and treatment. Just because an accused person has a mental illness does not mean he will get a reduced uh, sentence or community-based sentence because not all types of mental illnesses are given the same weight as a mitigating factor. For example, if an accused person has a pedophilic uh, mental disorder, he will probably not be able to use it in his defense or expect a lower sentence because this is not the kind of mental disorder that uh, affects his ability to distinguish uh, right from wrong. So thanks for watching this video on the insanity defense in Singapore.